When a fluoride ion approaches a methyl chloride molecule, a bond begins to form between the fluoride and the carbon. The molecule's carbon-chlorine bond lengthens and becomes weaker. The energy of the system increases. As the carbon-fluoride bond forms and the carbon-chlorine breaks, a configuration of maximum energy is reached, called the transition state. As the reaction proceeds to completion, the energy of the system decreases. Pouring bleach into a beaker of water and blue food dye converts the dye molecules into a colorless form. The timer indicates the progression of the reaction. If we plot the concentration of dye molecules at various times over the course of the reaction, we can determine the rate of the reaction. If we pour equal amounts of hot and room temperature bleach into separate beakers of colored water, we see that the hot bleach on the left destroys dye molecules more rapidly than the room temperature bleach on the right. In the test tubes is hydrochloric acid. On the left is a 0.3 molar solution, and on the right is a 6 molar solution. If we place a strip of magnesium metal in the 0.3 molar solution, the metal begins to react slowly. If we place a similar magnesium strip in the 6 molar solution, the reaction is much more vigorous. Within moments, the reaction is complete. Meanwhile, most of the magnesium in the 0.3 molar solution is still in solid form. On the plate is a pile of lycopodium powder. If we aim a flame at it, not much happens. If, however, we take some of the lycopodium and then spray it into a flame, the combustion reaction is explosive. The more surface area of the lycopodium particles that is exposed to oxygen, the faster the reaction. Hydrogen peroxide in water decomposes slowly at room temperature. In the presence of manganese dioxide, however, the decomposition occurs much more rapidly. The reaction produces oxygen and water. The manganese dioxide is not consumed or otherwise altered by the reaction. It serves only as a catalyst and makes the reaction occur more rapidly. In a platinum-based catalytic converter, nitrogen monoxide molecules in the exhaust stick to the surface of the platinum. The molecule decomposes, each atom remaining on the surface. When another NO molecule comes to the area, it also decomposes, and its N atom bonds with the other N atom on the platinum surface. The O atoms also combine. The gaseous nitrogen and oxygen molecules then float away from the surface.